Hello and welcome. My name is Greg Benick from Griebenography. Today we are going to show you how to process an infrared raw image taken with a Nikon camera, NEF file, um, that was shot with the flash white balance versus a custom white balance and, and get the white balance correct and do some basic editing. So the first thing we're going to do is open the file. And as you see with any time we do an automatic or daylight or any of that stuff, it's going to be red um, when we're shooting it in infrared. But Nikon Capture NX2 makes this very easy to take care of. All we need to do is expand the camera settings, go to select gray point, marquee, start, and if you just drag it around, it will automatically set it. And I'm using a 720 nanometer filter so there's some bronze and stuff in there. Alright so now that we got a good basic starting point for the white balance we are going to go ahead and do some basic processing. Um, what I am going to do is straighten it first and I'm going to make it along this line here okay and let's give it a crop to get rid of some of this stuff over here I'm going to keep the same 4 by 6 aspect ratio though and her feet are on the rule of thirds. Next thing we're going to do is a black and white conversion. So we'll go into black and white conversion and I like a color filter strength of 100%. Brightness I usually start around 20 and contrast I start around 5. And I drag this filter in hue until I get the conversion look that I like. I think I like the red on this one here. So we're going to leave it all the way up that way. The next thing I'm going to do is set some levels. Now I have the levels sampling for the black auto clipping levels at 0.1% and the white at 0.01. Since I'm more concerned with losing highlights than losing some shadow detail, that's the direction I go. So I'm going to go into levels and curves and I'm going to hold down the control button and click on the auto contrast. And this is what we got. So now if I go to 100% I can just look to make sure that there is no weird blown out spots which I don't see. Alright. After that we're going to do a small S curve for contrast. So we'll go back into the levels and curves. I'll grab this here and pull it down a little bit and up here just up a little bit and let's take this up a little bit more alright so we'll stick with that there next thing I'm going to do is a general high pass to clean it up and if we view that at 100% you can see the pixels that are being touched up so I'll leave that at one pixel hit overlay then I'm going to select the eyes as well and work on yep getting ahead of myself and work on now uh, just those 
So let's pull this down here. And then I'll slide this one over here. And again, we'll grab high pass. And we'll bump this one up to five pixels. And overlay. And that one looks like that. All right. So we'll go back to the full size. And I typically, since Facebook likes 2048 on the long side to get it to display at the highest possible quality, I will go ahead and resize for Facebook. So that's adjust, I'm sorry, edit, size, and 2048 for the long side. Now we can just save that. And then you can do a save as for your JPEG. That's all there is to it.